Oh, who am I gonna start with? I think I'm gonna go with Keats. Oh, okay, let's have a look at the description. The mysterious phone call to the magazine where Keats works said only, Help! Fairies will kill me! Dolan Village! Cliff of... of... Cedar? What? What? Okay, um, despite a suspicion that it could be a prank, Keith said sounds for Dulin. And what about Ellen? A strange death in a strange land. Ellen lost her mother 17 years ago, but mysteriously received a letter from her inviting her to meet at the cliff of Sidae, I guess that's the other word, <laughs> in Dulin. She goes, but finds only a corpse, which falls off a cliff before she can even have a look at her. Okay, so how does she know it's her mother? Maybe the clothing or something? I don't know. Alright. Let's start with Keats. I wish I could play both at the same time. I mean, I would play Keats one level, and on another level i play Ellen. So she runs off to the beach. Looks like we'll be meeting a corpse. So the question is, who could have killed her and why? Mini map. Okay. Ah. I wish I could change the angle, but I can't. <laughs> I'm trying all the buttons, you guys. Oh, select works. Where am I? Prologue. I talked to a woman on the phone before she died. This is likely fall play. I shall trail her daughter to the shore. Hmm. <laughs> Reminds me of Final Fantasy, because you can't really move the camera right now. <laughs> The old Final Fantasies, I mean, you couldn't really move the camera. Or I guess many of the PS1 games. I guess I can't go there yet. snow that would be the road back to the inhabited area so I can't go there yet I should head to the beach first and talk to that girl okay I guess down this way oh yeah down that way there we go. This is in picture mode. Oh my god, what the? FF, what does that mean? So there's life here. What are you doing here? A woman called me at my magazine. When I thought I'd found her, she fell from the cliff, and then this girl went into shock. With her? Hmm. She may have a link. She's out cold. What do we do? For now, is there a place we can stay? That is weird, I don't like picture mode. Why don't we have like an animation and have them talk? For real. Like voice actors. <laughs> what a dump. Hardly fit for a dog. 
At least she has a bed. I don't even have that. Uh, my body aches. My questions can wait for tomorrow. What? Want to know more? Seek the pub. The people here are out of this world. Who was that? Am I hallucinating? Some kind of prank? Well, any lead is better than no lead. Time to investigate. I'm saving here. I guess the desk is the save point, or the memo pad is the save point. Doolin Village. Seem to recall the pub being north of the road. I guess they're stopping us from going everywhere else. We don't have a choice to go where they want us to go. This must be the pub. Hmm. Werewolves! Or er, Wolves. <laughs> Who is that now? Another visitor, a gentleman. Oh, spooky! From the magazine? Someone phoned him. An occult magazine? What nonsense. Yeah, coming from ghosts. You speak lucidly for figments of my imagination. Nice special effects, too. Ooh, that's a rat! Yeah, No, this is all real. We're here to help you determine your recourse. Go to the netherworld and seek the dead. Your guide awaits you beyond the door. <laughs> the guy doesn't seem too much in shock, probably because he's a reporter <laughs> of those types of occult things, but still, you'd think he'd already seen monsters before. Oh, hello. My name is Jimmy Squarefoot. Don't believe you can meet the dead, do you? Well, just have a look outside. You won't believe what's going on out there. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> it's like a voice acting video game for me. On top of that hill, in the village, is a hens that was created by the ancients. His name is Fear Derek? Somehow, once each year, on some hate night, the path that goes beneath the hands opens up. By the human calendar, that occurs on November 2nd today. Oh, look at that big guy. Can Conner. Gan Connor. Okay. Um. Have a conversation. My name is Gan Connor. 
Think of me as the barman of this pub at night. We are open every night, but can seem to attract many people, living ones at least. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I just find it funny. <laughs> and so you're after a password, are you? Well, then the Neverworld is the place. Let's ask him more questions. Quest. Looks like there's a. There are no quests for you yet. Wish my English was better. Downloaded quests? Guess they want me to purchase stuff. Yeah, I guess I need to purchase those. Weren't those two floating earlier? Maybe they weren't. Yeah, her. Yeah, definitely. Her umbrella's floating, anyways. Man got the invisible is waiting for you. That is not my voice. That is very bad, Alex. I need to practice. Man got the invisible is waiting for you. <laughs> no, that's not good. It doesn't sound like her. Must be, must be some kind of plot to lure you into the netherworld. Yeah, that's a little better, but not really. Oh, I like your little porcupine. How cute is that? Frizzy. Hey, hey, not exactly a cool one, are you now? My name is Frizzy, crier for the dead. Such a sad thing, someone else from the village has died. What shall come of this? Woohoo! <laughs> Just added a little <laughs> something there. She's a ghost, I would imagine her saying that. Nothing much happened here. Good evening. Headline mystery voice revealed. My apologies. But do oblige me by following my lead. Well, you're certainly gentle. What? I don't have time to read! But I guess going into a frenzy dress. What? Guys, I don't read that quickly. My English is not that good. I suggest an interview with the deceased? I'm Belgai, and I can instruct you on making contact. Spiritualism died out a hundred years ago. We can print rubbish about channelings and seances. What are seances? Ah, oh, but I sense that you're a man of deep curiosity. What is that? Stone Edge? Accompany me to South Hedge. We well, should try an experiment. You shall be most pleased by the results. Belga. Keep following the road south until you reach the hedge. It's an ancient relic created by the forebears of this land that grants wishes. Okay. Can I go here? Nope. Guess I can't.
Is this where I'm supposed to go? This will tell me I can't. I can. No, I can't. Ugh. I guess this is it. Finally, we're gonna have some fighting, some action. We've been expecting you. This way, please. The Oval Henge, a mysterious megalite monument created by the ancients? What does all this have to do with meeting the dead? I've no time to explain now, sir. We must catch up with her. I guess it's Helen? Are we catching up with Helen? Her who? Let's go! Okay. Oh, I've seen this video on YouTube. Oh, it's so awesome. I'm gonna transform you guys. There's some down here. I can hear them talking. It's the girl from the cliffs, sir. She believes the legend that you can meet the dead. Those legends are not the delusion of the ancients. They are truths that they have bequented to us. Bequeated to us? I guess that means that they have taught us? Tonight the girl comes the long-awaited messenger between the real world and little world. The netherworld? You mean the land of the dead? Well, this should make the front page. <laughs> I'm not a voice actor, you guys. I'm trying very badly. So, invisible gentleman, I suppose you brought me here so that I can win my Pulitzer? What's a Pulitzer? What if you two could acquire that power? All I want is a good story. One cannot survive in the netherworld without gaining a certain power. Hmm, yeah. A story like this. I'll do whatever it takes. The girl will obtain a cloak in order to pass through the netherworld. All you need to do is be near her when she does. When a new messenger is chosen, guardians are also chosen. That is certain to be you. All right. Well, this is interesting. What's happening to that girl? By absorbing the power of the Cloak of Sthi, she has become a traveler of the netherworld. You also hold the same power. <laughs> the land of the dead. Not interested. I prefer, well, something more substantial. In fact, I'm amazed I can even see you.
crazy. Even the pain feels real. This is certainly a lucid dream. As you wished, you have attained the powers of a netherworld traveler. Now go and take her from this place, lest she bring disaster to the netherworld. But what powers can she possibly have to cause disaster there? She only went to search for her mother. The portal to the netherworld lies beyond here. Go and see for yourself. Ooh, so exciting. Oh, I love the transformation. Can I go back? Can I? What? So, so cute. Would you pass through the door and discover a reality that you never knew? You mean that shiny glowing thing? Indeed, sir. That is the door to the netherworld. <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice. What? Oh, musical notes. Yeah, I want to transform back into the wicked guy. Ah, I wish I could move the camera. We can in this game. Well, not here anyways. That way I could have a better look at the ceiling and at the portal and, and everything around me. I guess that was the loading screen. What's this? This is the fairy realm. <laughs> Why do I make his voice Scottish? I mean, he's probably like English or something. I know this can be a dream because I don't have the spirit of imagination. This is an afterworld imagined by the ancients. It's just one of many realms. The woman you saw on the cliff is just a little further on. I never thought that I'd find myself chatting to the dead. Please hurry. The door will open for this night only. What happens then? You will be forbiddenly returned to your own world. Does that mean there's time? Oh, and be careful of folks. Folks? Folks. <laughs> they were once human souls, but are aggressive now. Why are butterflies going towards me? A live girl is now a live man. Two in one day? Well, haven't we? Well, haven't had many lives once coming true, even on Shamhan of late. Shamhain? Hain. Shamhain. <laughs> Messengers are go-betweens for the lands of the dead and the living, like a priest or a medium in our tongue. People have always wanted to see loved ones who have passed on 
they must use messengers to do that. So we had live people coming here all the time, despite the danger of losing their souls. I have plenty to tell you. I enclose important things in brackets when I talk. Living ones, like ourselves, can use the portal in square to return to the village. Oh, but today is Shanghai. It's a special day, and you cannot use it. Recovery at portal. The Neverworld becomes more dangerous as you go deeper. When you're in trouble, just touch a portal that radiates brilliant light. Your inquiries will be healed. Messenger Abilities If you use the power you've discovered, you can absorb folk heads. That will let you use the folks in any way you wish. Actually, if you don't do that, then you'll find it very hard to live in this world. Folks Folks are spirits of the dead, who've taken on different forms. After people die, their souls can change. Never mind. Is it this way? I guess it is this way. What happens if I talk to them again? Do they repeat the same thing over and over again? Yes, they do. What it is? Ooh. The one to the left well. Straight out of the fairy tale. I guess he's the one saying that. So it's well. Straight out of the fairy tale. No, he has like an English accent. Oh, that's yikes. You weird. So, you are not hurt, I hope. What the? It is the energy of their souls on their hide. Sir Keats, hold out your hand quickly. That's it. A surge of energy. Hmm. Remember that feeling? We'll not always be there to help you. This place is a zoo. What were those things? They are folks, a devoted forms, the souls of the dead. You are blessed with the ability to absorb the eyed. An inquisitive man like yourself must be happy to jump into action. I'm a reporter. Do not be afraid, you're insane. I didn't have time to read that! Darn it! Darn it, darn it, darn it! Oh well. Whoa, action time! This indicates your character's HP. HP is reduced when your character is attacked. If it reaches zero, your character dies. So I guess that's the green line? I would think so. This shows your character's MC, mind capacity. MC is expanded when folks are used, but recovers after a certain period of time. Assign folks to dispel it and activate them by pressing the action button. The Pookie will continuously attack while you press the button rapidly. The Kill Mulis will attack as a shield to protect you. Will act, not attack. Obviously it's a shield. How does this work? Okay. Bell attacks can cause blue eyes to fly out of folks. Why do we say old folks at all? They don't look like those guys. <laughs> if a red ID appears, it can be absorbed. Press absorb button R1 
and flick the controller upwards. Okay, a red ID appeared. Okay. Oh, okay, that was cool. ID successfully absorbed. Absorbing IDs increases the force you can use and also contributes to character growth. Uh oh, no monsters. Wait. I need to change some stuff. Okay, in the full stream, few details of absorb forks. Yes, attack. A pook. The slow fairy is a mix of a good and evil qualities. Loves mischief, but can be incredibly cruel in groups. In karma info, view the karma of folks and the conditions necessary to release karma. Karma releasing items are used here. I don't get it. Karma not yet released. I guess I need to kill 5 to get it. And I need to kill 10 to get this. Use 10 pulse 3 nuts. Okay, absorb 5. Okay, I guess I need to absorb 5 to get this. Get pulse 3 nuts. Uh, kill 4 of those guys. Kill Mulis. Kill Mulis. The Kilmulis is friendly and helps grind flour at watermills. When it gets lonely, it resorts to pranks to get attention, so it can be quite a handful. It has a huge hand. Huh. Okay. Items. Change categories with up and down buttons. Use left and right buttons to select items and view their details. Picture book, karma release. Don't have anything yet. Okay, so I'm not gonna stick here. Okay, I have to revert this. Revert. I think I'll revert both actually. Let's try this. See how it goes. Return to tile screen. Will not save. Unsave data. Proceed. Whoa, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, right now they're saving the fact that I want to reverse. And then I click back. Okay. Okay, this is good, but not up and down. Weird, usually in other video games, it's always up and down that I need to reverse, but not in this one. It's left and right. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is perfect. This is the way I like it. The thing is, okay, his mag magic uh, goes back up again. I was wondering if I want to attack too much, if my magic would ever go into you, deplete itself and never return. Because then there would be no way for me to attack again, but it doesn't seem to be the case. What does the map look like? I'm not sure I understand this map. Which way am I supposed to go? Well, I'm gonna go fight some enemies. Captured Fork Karma has been released. Folks possess many latent abilities that can be used when Karma is released. View the conditions required to release Karma. In Start Menu, Folk Screen, Folks Info, Forks, uh, Karma Info. 
well. I thought she went to the attack me. to learn to defend because that's my weakness in video games. Can't I jump? Those guys, they come back all the time. Do I need to break those? I hate that he can move when he absorbs magic. Because he has to concentrate on the soldiers. I wish he could jump. Is there a way to have a bigger map? What is this? I clicked L2. You can change the folks you use. Choose a folk and press an action button to assign it to its palette location. But that's good. I'll leave them where they are. What? No, 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 no. No, no, that's good. Uh, L2. I wish there was a way to have a bigger map. This map is so small. No, I... Well, that's not the map. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, I guess I'm the red area. Oh, now I get it. There's nothing else here. More monsters. Maybe I raise my remote for once when I...
knife throws. Wow. Okay, I guess that's going this guy. That's good. When multiple IDs appear, simultaneously absorb them by holding down the absorb button or win. Your character will receive an experience point bonus depending on the number of IDs absorbed simultaneously. What? That didn't work. I probably did not do it correctly. Oh well. Next time. I'm back here? Is that the girl you met on the cliff? And the dead woman? We don't have much more time. An hour of Saham draws to a close. This will be talking to more of those little guys. If you want to come back to the middle world, you'll have to do it like a messenger does. That means properly communing with the dead and opening the door to the netherworld. A girl has gone on ahead of you. She was calling for her mother. I wonder what happened. Anything you'd like to know? Battles. Don't go mad when battling, folks. You need to use some strategy. To do it properly, use the L1 button to lock on and the R2 button to invade. Glowing objects. When you defeat folks, sometimes they leave shiny objects Pick them up. The green ones recover HP, and others include picture book pages and folk food. Releasing Karma. Certain conditions make the folks you use grow stronger, such as absorbing the ID of the same folk many times. Releasing Karma. Certain conditions make the folks you use grow stronger, such as absorbing the ID of the same folk many times. The fairies. We fairies aren't like the folks. We won't attack you. But something has happened that necessitates our involvement in fighting. Thank you very much for the info. Oh, pretty little lights and the flowers. So very lovely. Look this way. She the one talking? Is she the one talking? I don't know. I just assumed it was him. Hmm. Isn't that? She seemed drugged. Yes. It's the girl at the cliff. Which means... That must be the woman who fell. Why not go and ask her? A reporter observes. Strange. This should be an emotional reunion. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Why you? You horrid girl! You're possessed. It's all your fault. I'll kill you. <laughs> Come on, action scene. So it's not really his story. It's kind of the girl's story. The girl has used up all the time that was allotted to her. You two have but little time left. 
please talk to the dead who were left behind? Who is that? So she came here thinking that she could meet her mother. Exactly, who are you? I'm just a reporter. Aren't you the one that called me? Called you? I didn't call anyone. You must be thinking of someone else. Oh, come on. So that's not your daughter? It certainly isn't. I was unable to settle that score from 17 years ago. You called that girl in the hopes of doing so, but only got yourself killed. Killed? I remember now. My... my family. I couldn't bear to lose any more of my family. My daughter is in the village. She'll be killed too. Please tell her to leave the village. Your real daughter? I don't know. I'm not very trusting of dead people myself. <laughs> I need to read better. <laughs> There's a photo hidden in a ceramic doll in that room. Show it to her. My daughter's name is Suzette. Alright, alright. I'll do it. But first, you have to tell me something. Just what happened 17 years ago? Why are you doing this? And who killed you? I... I can't. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going back to the tavern. Dot dot dot. Dream? Or not? This is what you meant by a time limit, hey? Eh? But nothing was solved. Why was the woman on the cliff murdered? Who called me at the office? To find the answer, meet the murderer woman again, find the memento of the dead and offer it at the hands of night. If the dead listen, the door will open. Wait! I must know more! Damn! Damn you! <laughs> oh. I'm having too much fun with this game, you guys. Save your game, yes. Alright, you guys, don't forget to be the best people you can be. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.